Hey everybody, it's Overkill here with another painting tutorial. So today we're doing a German soldier from Bolt Action. Uh, the first color here we have is German Field Grey, and that's going to be going on the uniform, of course. Now this isn't the model that I'm actually painting for this tutorial. Um, it's just the camera screwed up the recording uh, for the Field Grey on the actual model. Um, but you know, you just put it all over the model. Um, this one, of course, has a... Um, the... Uh, you know, the thing that goes over them. So the next step is Rhinox Hide. Uh, this is going to go on all of the straps. So this is the model that we are actually painting for this tutorial. I like this model more than the shooting pose because he's a bit more open. It's a bit more, it's a bit easier to see all the detail. Um, but you can see where we put the German Field Grey, of course. Um, but yeah, this is just any generic late war uh, German for bolt action, basically. Uh, very quick and easy tutorial. Um, to get your Germans on the field. So the next color we're going to be going with uh, is, if I'll ever show it, is Doombull Brown from Citadel, of course. Uh, military Green, uh, German Gray, <laughs> I am reading these out as I'm watching the video in Vegas, of course. Uh, Khaki Gray, and Mornfang Brown. So we're doing a few steps here in one clip. Um, so we're with the German Grey first, we're painting the shovel, basically everything that's going to be metal, um, apart from the helmet, because we're going to be doing uh, camo on that. And you can see painting the boots with this color as well, and the knife. And yeah, all the metal bits. Being not too careful on the gun, because we're going to be painting that brown anyway. Um, which leads us into our next color, which is Khaki Grey, um, which we actually do cover up. Um, later on because this color just doesn't blend with the model that well um, But you'll see that in the next step, but we paint the uh, I think it's a bread bag it's some sort of Supply bag anyway on his uh, on his back there and the gaiters on his boots But we do cover that up with a different color later And then we I'm just checking out the model of course and then we move on to uh, Mornfang Brown and we're gonna be painting the handle of the shovel with this and the wood of the car 98 as well um, because I like this bright uh, brown color um, to represent I pretty much paint all of my bolt action rifles this color um, un unless of course like you look at a picture of the weapon and it's clearly a different color wood than certain other ones but it's a nice bright brown that stands out against all the you know greens and different colors of the army's uniforms then we move on to uh, military green, and this is going to be going on some of the other pieces of kit on the uh, soldier's back. Uh, I'm not quite up to date with, um, or up to the terms of everything that's on this soldier. Um, I used to know quite a bit about uniforms and equipment, but I can't quite remember the names of everything. And uh, I don't have the pieces sheet with me. So now we're going with uh, Doombull Brown again, I think that was, uh, on the... Uh, I think that's the canteen, or somewhere where they put the water in, I think, on his side there. And we have German Camel Beige, and uh, this is what I'm going to be covering the gaiters back up with. Um, which is a nicer color, and it's a bit more accurate to some of the reference pictures I was looking at. Uh, and we're also painting the helmet with this color, and going back over the, uh, the bag, of course. But yeah, we start painting the helmet with that color. Um, which we will then apply camo to in the next step, I believe, or maybe uh, maybe it's skin we do now. Yep, we're doing a skin with uh, Vallejo's basic skin tone. Uh, and that, of course, is just going on the soldier's hands and uh, his face and all that good stuff. Uh, a great skin tone. It will take, it does take a little bit of uh, time covering over black, especially. Um, so be sure to keep the paint thin and uh, take your time going over so that you get a smooth result. And uh, don't clog any of the detail, of course. Uh, and we're going to be going back over the uniform. So you can see there's a few spots where I've gotten paint on it. But that's because I'm not being particularly careful with the uniform. Because I knew that we were going to be covering it back up anyway with another color. But, you know, take your time, of course, so that you don't ruin the model, basically, by clogging everything up with paint. Uh, and just make sure you get a good result on him. So now with this skin finished, um, we can move on to painting the camo on the helmet. So we're going to be using Warboss Green and Morn, uh, Mornfang Brown for the different uh, camo splotches on the helmet, basically. So first with Mornfang Brown, we're going to be putting some big brown spots on the helmet. 
um, just to break up that beige. And now um, I'm kind of doing the basic steps for splinter camouflage, but I'm not actually putting in the lines like there should be, um, because honestly, on just my normal German sold, like just my run-of-the-mill grenadiers in uh, here infantry, maybe not here infantry, but you know the late war Germans, it's just not worth really putting the lines on because most of them you won't even see anyway because it's so far away uh, most of the time. Uh, and honestly, once this is washed, it looks just as great. And speaking of wash here, we have Edgrex Earthshade, and this is going over all of the model except for the skin. Um, so the uniform, all the pieces of kit, the weapon, uh, everything except for the skin because we're going to be washing the skin with Reichlin Flesh Shade right after this. Um, but yeah, once the camo is washed, honestly, um, it does the part. It looks, you know, like it looks like the camouflage. And of course, this isn't a 100% amazing um, award-winning paint job anyway, um, and neither is the tutorial, but uh, it's just to get a quick and easy paint job on all of your Germans that looks, you know, it looks good, and, uh, you know, once they're all done, I mean, like, there's only, like, 30 minutes of footage for this entire uh, tutorial when it's not sped up, so that just shows how quick the paint job can be. And there you go, you see everything's dried, so we're going to be going over the uniform with green-gray from Vallejo. Um, you just want to get this over pretty much mo pretty much all of the uniform except for the darkest and deepest areas uh, And that's just gonna bring us up to that uh, that typical, you know, nice gray German uniform color um, With all of the recesses nice and dark showing all that wonderful detail on these metal miniatures And yeah, so again, just take your time so that you don't go down into the recesses I mean if you go down in a few of them, it's not the end of the world But as long as you have shadows pretty much showing in every part uh, It'll you know It'll pop those and make them look excellent. And yeah, see, like I said, take your time. Make sure the paint is nice and thin so that it doesn't uh, clog any of the details. And yeah, you shouldn't have to do a second coat on this because the uh, German field gray and the field and the uh, green gray go nice together. Um, but yeah, so our next color is Lead Belcher, and that's going over all of the metal bits. I wanted to do a bit of an edge kind of thing on the shovel, but that didn't really work out, so I just ended up covering pretty much all of it. And then we're picking out all the areas on the gun and the knife on his back. And there we go. Very easy step for that one. And then finally, we have a mix of Doombull Brown and German Camo Beige to uh, paint the dark brown bits, so like the straps and the uh, bandolier around the soldier. Uh, just putting these on the highest bits so that it picks up the detail a bit better and it uh, stands out against the other darker colors a bit better as well. And of course I'm also lightening up the gun a little bit with some highlights just to make that look a bit better and have a bit more uh, a bit more detail as well. And there we go, you, there you have it, the finished German Grenadier. Um, so you can see once everything is dried it looks it looks good, uh, even close up, like it's a it's it's a decent paint job and across the table when you have a full company of these guys it's going to look quite nice, uh, especially when they're backed up with their tanks and such as the Germans should always be. Um, and you can see it was a very quick easy process so if you were uh, batch painting these, if you were painting a full squad at once it should only take you about an hour, ex excluding drying times of course, um, to paint a bunch of these guys in the same scheme. Uh, and if you wanted to see what the camo looked like on a uniform, like if you were painting uh, SS or just Grenadiers with the Zeltban, um, the poncho on, uh, this is kind of what that would look like. So this is my Otto Skors Skorzeny, Skorzeny uh, model <laughs> um, that I got from the Armies of Germany book when I ordered that months and months ago. But uh, yeah, that just shows off the camo. And you can see it looks nice when it's all together in a bigger area, um, even without the, uh, the lines put on it like the uh, splinter pattern should have. But uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I will see you in the next video. Until then, goodbye.